Well, welcome to this combined value Madden UK drug testing presentation and product demonstration of the new multi drug 18 in 1 Ultra Cup from uh, UK drug testing made for us currently by Alltest. This combination is 18 drugs in a single collection cup. And let's just run you through the package label. This is the standard shipping carton of 25. So this is what you'll be presented with if you buy a standard uh, full carton of 25. Now this test will screen for opiates at 300 nanograms, MDMA, which is ecstasy, ultra sensitive 500 nanogram uh, cutoff membrane imploded, oxycodone at 100 nanograms, PCP at 25, cocaine and crack cocaine at 100, normal and a NIDA cutoff is 300 so that's an ultra sensitive cocaine detection membrane methadone at 300 tramadol at 300 benzodiazepines at 200 NIDA is normally 300 so another ultra sensitive membrane amphetamine and methamphetamine two indistinct sorry distinct membranes both at 500 ultra cutoffs ketamine at 1000 fentanyl at 10 cannabis ultra sensitive urine membrane at 20 nanograms buprenorphine at 10 nanograms propoxethine at 300 barbiturates at 300 lsd at 20 and tricyclic antidepressants at 1000 so a really comprehensive 18 in one screen let's open the box and see what you get full manufacturer's data sheet with security seal labels should you choose to use them instructions for use which is abbreviated to IFO and all the data sets on the selectivity sensitivity and accuracy of the individual membranes shown there. These are the 25 individually foil wrapped carton contents and if I show you one of these foils you'll see that it's slightly shrink wrapped again with the combination on the front the all test branding the lot and expiry number. So in the next uh, couple of minutes I'm going to get this box out of the way focus in on one of these and uh, pop one open and run a test as a demonstration for you of how to run this test okay so here's one of the individual foils and you would only open this when you're just about ready to run your test and ideally it should have been allowed to warm up to room temperature to open the, the test and remove the test cup simply tear across the top and inside you should find a little pouch of desiccant which is there to keep the test membranes in fine condition and totally dry and this is your test cup you'll notice that it's a screw lid there is a measure on the back uh, with an indication in mils and fluid ounces the minimum urine level that you're asking the donor to provide a sample to is indicated here with this little arrow on the side and on the rear at the base, just below the minimum fill level, is this temperature strip. Now you're looking for a fresh urine sample to be voided into this cup. And the first check on that to make sure it's not being diluted or substituted or tap water added will be that it will show one of these uh, uh, ranges in the colour I'll show you this in a second when we've put some sample into it but you'll see that it should be within that range to indicate that it's at body temperature. Now the actual membranes themselves are under this peel off label. Now that can be removed when the test is either completed or during the test is running but it doesn't have to be removed in front of the donor. It gives you the option not to demonstrate or display the results to the donor. So the procedure is to give the cup with the lid to the donor, ask them to void a fresh urine sample into the cup, holding it upright to just above that level. So let's go and put a uh, test sample into this and we'll show you the cup running in just one minute. Well, we've now entered a uh, test sample into the cup. The lid has been screwed back on tightly and that should be leak proof now. For demonstration purposes, we're showing this was slightly less than the optimal urine level just to show that there is uh, some leeway built into this. Now I don't know whether you can see that. The green bar just showing there indicating that the temperature of this sample is within the acceptable range. Any one of these is acceptable. If no colour change occurs then it suggests that the liquid that's been added is not at the correct temperature. It suggests it's probably either usually too cold and what they've done quite often is substitute the sample um, with either water from the cistern or taps and uh, we would suggest that the test is rerun if you don't get the correct temperature indicated on it. Now for demonstration purposes what I'm also going to do is remove the cover from this before the correct read time just to show you that this test has already almost completely run. 
we're looking for control lines at the top of each of these membranes as indicated in the example window on the front panel here on the test cup and then you're reading the results by the presence or absence of the test lines below and the correct read time for this is between 5 and a maximum of 10 minutes for negative results like this sample where you've got the test lines all showing very early you can read it earlier they're not going to disappear and go away if you leave it for the full 10 minutes but if you've got a positive indicator on any of these membranes i.e. no test line showing you must wait for the full 10 minutes of development time and read the results showing at 10 minutes before interpreting that as a positive result which needs further confirmation so I'm now going to, and my timer has been running from the time that the sample's been added, restart this video when we're at 10 minutes and show you the results interpretation. Okay, 10 minutes have elapsed since the sample was first added into the test cup. We're focused in so we can show you this result here. The drug abbreviations at the head of each of these results windows gives the drug that is being tested on that membrane. So you'll see the abbreviations. We've got a list of those on our website. They're also in the data sheet and instruction that you've been sent. You're looking for the presence of a control line on every single one. If you don't get a control line, that test is invalid and has not run properly. You cannot interpret the result that needs redoing. You're then looking for the presence or absence of a test line. Now you will note with these results, the test lines do vary slightly in their color density, thickness and saturation but they are all present and even a thin and faint test line at the correct read time indicates a negative, a fully negative result. Do not try and draw any inference from the density, thickness or colour of the test line in comparison to other test lines or the control line. So there you have it, a very simple and easy to perform screen for 18 common drugs, including some ultra sensitive detection membranes in there the most comprehensive drug test currently that we offer in a very simple and easy to perform format and available from the UK drug testing website. If you follow the link in the description that should take you directly through to our listings for this particular product which is available for sale currently in the UK from us. Thanks for watching.